Okay, so I've decided I had Joe ringing in my ear. Come on, Lance, gotta quit doing all this heavy shit. Let's have some lightheartedness. I mean, Facebook is for blah, 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 blah. Okay, Joe. I'll go away from the very essential things and we'll talk about some sports. How about we talk about basketball? Because you know how much I like basketball. It's one of them things that make my blood boil like the rest of the things that I discussed earlier. So, I hear a lot of people worried about the Cavs. So let me explain something to you folks in case you're not understanding this. LeBron James is the greatest player on the planet. You can't debate that. You can pretend all you want. Now, there, of course, people are going to say Michael Jordan's the best player on the planet. Michael Jordan's the best player of all time. Right now, LeBron could steal Michael Jordan's lunch bucket and his lunch money and take his milk and his girlfriend. And that's just the facts. Michael Jordan's 77 years old, probably. I mean, no, he's actually like 50 or something, but I mean, he's an old man. LeBron will whoop his ass. There's no question. LeBron would whoop anyone's ass on the planet, period. So they have the best player. They have been known to lock people down on defense at any time they want. They do it a lot in the playoffs. See, that's what a lot of people, folks, don't understand is regular season is to sell tickets and have a show and make all these millions of dollars that you pay your players. Playoffs times is when you earn your money. That's when it's time to play. It doesn't matter what seed the Cleveland Cavaliers are, folks. You have to beat them four out of seven games. And there's nobody that can do it. It's that simple. I mean, you are not going to beat LeBron James four out of seven guys. Four out of seven times. He's got Kyrie with him. And Kyrie is another one that can win a game or two on his own. With a little bit of help from his friends. But he can put up monster numbers. What did he do last year in the finals? He won at least one of them games because, simply because of how he performed. So they've got two people that at any given time can take over a game. Name me another one that, can, that has that capability in the playoffs. Because if you tell me Durant, choker. If you tell me Westbrook, choker. Tell me anybody else. Name anybody else and I'll tell you why they're not going to beat the Cleveland Cavaliers. So... When I said it the year before last, Cleveland should be going for their three-peat right now. It's that simple, folks. You know it. I know it. The world should know it. They are going to win this. Barring any, uh, barring any bad injuries like they had the first year, to me, they, they would have won that too if it wasn't for Kyrie going down and Love going down, even though Love... I don't know, he, something's, he's just not the, the big three to me. I think, I held Jefferson was the third big three. I mean, when you have somebody like LeBron, there's no stopping that guy. I mean, unless you hurt him, which I hope you don't, but unless you hurt him, there's no stopping that guy. It's just that simple. I hope that you realize this, folks. I hope that you get it through your skull. I mean, you can go out there and waste all your time all you want thinking that you got something going on, but I can't think of anybody that's going to beat them. Celtics, come on, man. They ain't going to win. Okay, they got the first seed. Big deal. Golden State Warriors, they have been exposed. They are soft. All you got to do is rough them up a little bit and they're done. San Antonio. No. It's not going to happen, guys. Nobody's going to beat him. Mark my words. Have a good day. Bye.